Hi, this is Phil Hinton. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our CES coverage. Uh, we find ourselves on the Samsung display stand. And of course, we're at Samsung display. We have to speak to Shirag. So here he is talking all about OLED and QD OLED. Hey, Phil, great to see you. And I'm excited to reconnect at CES. Yes, uh, this is the QD OLED. It's 4,500 nits of peak brightness and 450 nits of full white on a 55, 65 and a 77 inch screen. Uh, what is driving this? It is a refinement of our previous generation panel. Uh, there are three things that we are doing. Number one is the light transmission efficiency. We've improved it by better designing some of the layers that kind of go into the OLED, the QD OLED panel. Number two is our improved TCON and TFT capabilities. Uh, some of it is adopted for the higher brightness. Some of it is for the always on display. And the last thing is better and improved heat dissipation. Lots of improvements there. So is it a new generation? Are you calling it a new generation? We're not calling it a new generation. We're calling it the 2026 panel. Um, that's the official terminology that we are using for now. Yeah. Uh, it's not a change in the EL material per se, but it is a refinement of the way that it is the EL material is being used. So what layers, how much, thickness, etc. Number two is an improved TFT and TCON, and number three is an improved uh, improvement in how it manages heat. Now, you mentioned screen sizes there. One of the big asks at the moment is not only bigger, but smaller. So are, are Samsung display looking at larger screen sizes like 83 inch and so on? We're always looking at different options. We don't have anything to announce or share. Uh, but yeah, we have the, you know, the intent to meet the customer and the market demand, uh, whatever it is. And we'll continue to look at it. And at, when we have something to announce on that, we will share with you for sure. And just to stop any confusion, because you're right, we should be very, very clear. There is no change in the pixel layout on this panel that we're looking at here in terms of the 55, 65 and 77 inch. That's correct. So there is a change in pixel layout. So maybe you could tell us about that, because yes. I think one of the most exciting areas at the minute is QD OLED monitors and gaming monitors and so on. Seems to be lots of development there. Absolutely. We have seen a wonderful you know, accelerated adoption of QD OLED in the monitor space. What we have seen is initially the, 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 the momentum was with gamers and creators because they loved the deep blacks, the vibrant colors, the peak brightness, etc. But starting recently in the last year, we saw a lot of adoption in offices or B2B settings. And in order to kind of satisfy some of their needs, what we've introduced this year is the world's first V-stripe or vertical stripe uh, QD OLED. Uh, what that means is it's a vertical stripe QD OLED uh, that is a different uh, generation from the older, uh, not the older, but the other QD OLED. Uh, we're introducing it in the 34 inch and that's going to be very helpful in the B2B space. And, and again, we're looking at uh, increased um, you know, uh, uh, refresh rates and so on, again, being driven by the gaming side of things, but that helps everybody, even productivity and exactly. obviously. Absolutely. So we're also introducing the first native 360 hertz with a native response time of 0.03. And yes, that allows, you know, across the board, uh, better productivity, better gaming, better entertainment. So we're very excited about that as well. And just to, to wrap up quickly, because it's not TV, it's not monitors, but it is OLED and it's important because what comes at smaller sizes eventually does get bigger. Um, lots of automotive and other things. So maybe just quickly give us a brief rundown of some of the technology we can see. So the other things that you will like to see here are three things I want you to focus on. One is our Montflex, which is the pinnacle of foldable technology. So it's creaseless, more durable, brighter and lighter. Uh, we have a lot of applications on the AR, VR side, which are which is an RGB OLED on silicon. And lastly, on the driver experience, we have a number of OLED uh, capabilities that we are introducing. Uh, one is you know, an overall uh, design differentiation capabilities. Number two, enhancing the overall entertainment with vivid colors. Um, safety with under panel camera, flex magic pixel, which makes sure that you can have uh, all the entertain entertainment on the passenger side but no distraction for the driver and the uh, ability to have under panel cameras and other sensors. Shirag, uh, it's very, very busy here. I know you've got another presentation, but thank you very much for taking the time. I know myself and my audience are really, really thrilled to see you every year and get an update on QD OLED. So thank you very much. Thank you, Phil, and a big happy new year to all you, to your audience as well.